Good morning. Thanks so much for tuning in to Fox Hill Rising. We have Dr. Andy here. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I, I understand you've been here before. A few times. A few times. <laughs> Today you wanted to talk about acid reflux. My first question was, how do I even know if I have acid reflux, and what is it? Well, that's a good question. About 10 million people a day in the United States will have some sort of acid reflux symptoms. Mm -hmm. And usually that will be heartburn. That's very common. And that's a burning in your chest. But it can be many other things, too. It can also cause throat problems, cough, um, pneumonia sometimes, infections in the th up in your sinuses, mm -hmm. uh, chest burning. Um, so it can be multiple different symptoms. And what makes it different even, in men and women, or is it the same for everyone? It's pretty much the same in everyone, but what makes it even more complicated is everybody has some kind of reflex. Mm -hmm. And for most, it doesn't have a problem, but for those 10 million, it can. So what am I doing, what am I eating that could be causing this problem? And that's a good question, because for most people who have problems bad enough to see a doctor, simple changes can make a difference, like avoiding chocolate. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Did you just say avoid chocolate? Avoid chocolate, that's okay. right. Yeah, what else? Uh, alcohol caffeine, uh, fatty foods, uh, peppermint, sucking candies, peppermint. chewing gum. All of, yep, all of those things are known for increasing the amount of stomach acid uh, disproportionately to what they're digesting. So just by cutting those simple things out can help reduce your many. symptoms of acid reflux. Exactly. There's no many. like a cure for acid reflux. Well, for those that it doesn't work for, the, we have plenty of medications that are very good and very effective uh, that should definitely be, would be the next step. And for those people who don't have relief with those, there actually are surgical procedures and other types of intervention that we can try. I have seen ads on television for a medicines, prescription drugs for right. acid reflux, but you should try to eliminate those things from your diet first. Those are the best things to try first before going to medications. But, you know, the bottom line, the key point to take home from all of this is that if you experience symptoms of heartburn more than, say, twice a week, you need to talk to your doctor about it because long-term heartburn that's not treated can lead to serious complications. And those complications range from cancer, uh, exactly. throat and lung problems. So that's All not something that you want to you know, yeah. keep putting off and avoiding. If you really think if you're having it more than two times a week, you should more see More than a doctor. two times a week, absolutely. And you, it, if nothing else, talk to your doctor about it because some simple changes can make all the difference or simple medication can make the difference. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Andy. And uh, I know people will probably have questions for you. And up oh, there you go. There's your uh, email and your phone number. Those are both the best ways to contact you? Absolutely. So Dr. AOL at PHC dash MD dot com and you can also call this phone number two three nine six nine four sixty two forty six. Thanks so much for being here this morning. I'm My gonna pleasure. save your little tip sheet here. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's uh, send it